Look at this, this is crazy. It's Friday, August 10th, and I'm about 6,000 feet above sea level. My skin is embracing the crisp chill of mountain air, and my eyes are taking in a view I never could have imagined seeing. The journey that brought me here, to Gaudapigan, Norway's highest peak, allowed me not only to see breathtaking views like this one, but a different version of myself and a different version of leadership. Leadership, I came to see, is not inherent in a position, but lies rather in perspective. Day one. That's me in the blue sundress. Not exactly the image of an REI model, huh? Represented in my outfit was the inadequacy I initially felt when I was introduced to my fellow classmates, a mix of whitewater rafters, gear-owning backpackers, and track runners. I couldn't help but question myself and my place on the trip. And so the journey began. Unseasoned as my stiff hiking boots and completely out of my element, I saw myself as a liability to our group. I wasn't fast, strong, or fit. The critical thinking and analytical skills on which I usually rely were even deficient, as I could barely decipher the maps. My contribution to our group would be not falling too far behind or not becoming critically injured. But as the trip progressed, I began to break in my boots and my backpack straps began to settle more naturally into my shoulders. Meanwhile, my perspective was changing also. When we began a challenging part of a hike, did I see an insurmountable peak or a beautiful view waiting up ahead of me? Behind me, did I see intimidating competitors whom I could only strive not to disappoint, or a group of teammates who had my back through each challenge? As my outlook on my surroundings changed, so did my take on myself. I was a group member who had positivity, encouragement, sense of humor, and above average cooking skills to contribute to the group. These aspects of my personality were valuable assets if I chose to see them as such. I embarked on the final hike with this new perspective of embracing challenges, personal weakness, and the support of others. But what carried me to the top was a new force I hadn't felt before. Not obligation, but pure desire for the self-satisfaction that would come with this accomplishment. I would do this climb for myself and no one else. As a result of my perseverance through the toughest physical challenge on the trip, I gained much more respect for my teammates than I could have through my raw talents or skills. This perspective of positivity and determination that garnered the admiration of my peers and leaders was probably the most poignant form of leadership I showed on the trip. I descended from the peak to meet the pleasant sunshine waiting for me at the bottom of the mountain, warmed not only by the physical exertion of a kick-ass climb, but by pride in myself and gratitude for my teammates and the experience I had in Norway. Through the peaks and the valleys, I learned to embrace discomfort, support others, lean on help from teammates, and carry the contagiously positive perspective that is leadership.